Today we're gonna, gonna work on word problems with the Pythagorean theorem. Here's our first one. We have to find the height of the parallelogram. Well, let's look at the parallelogram. Okay, we have a base that measures 17, but it's split into two parts, nine on this side and eight on this side. And then we have a side, the slanted side, that is 15. And we have an altitude already drawn in. So what we can need to do now is figure out what that altitude is so we can find the height. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually focus on the triangle and not the parallelogram. So let's look at this triangle and I'm going to draw it out here. Okay, so here's our right triangle. We know that our base is 9 and this side is 15. Well, this side is the hypotenuse. So remember in the Pythagorean theorem we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. C is always the hypotenuse, so I'm going to plug in 15 for my hypotenuse. Now A and B are interchangeable, so I can plug in 9 either for A or B. It doesn't matter. I'll just plug it in for A, and we'll solve for B. So 9 squared plus B squared is equal to 15 squared. Well, 9 squared is 81 plus B squared is equal to 15 squared. Let's see. I'm going to double check. 15 squared is 225. And then to solve for b squared, I'm going to subtract 81. So let's take our calculator and take our 225 minus 81, and we get 144. So 144 is equal to b squared. Take the square root of both sides, and b is a, or 144 is a perfect square. So b is equal to 12. So that is the height of this side of the triangle. Now let's transfer it back to our picture. It's also the height of the parallelogram. So we need to identify the units. This is 12, and what unit is it? It's in meters. So the height is equal to 12 meters. Okay, let's look at a second one tonight. Okay, here's one. We're going to have to draw a picture on this one. So it says a wire is stretched from the top of a 12-foot pole to a stake 5 feet from the base of the pole. How long is the wire? Okay, so let's think of what we've got here. We've got a pole, so let's draw a pole standing straight up. And we have, we know that the pole is 12 feet tall. So that means I can label this height of 12. And it says to a stake that is five feet from the base. So let's figure out where the stake is. Well, here's the base of the pole. The stake is five feet away. So this is where the stake would be. So that measures five feet. And then they're asking us how long is the wire? Well, the wire would stretch down. So here's our unknown distance. It is this part, and that's the hypotenuse, so that's C. I'm going to label that C. So now let's write the Pythagorean theorem down. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We know both of the legs because we know the right triangle is where the pole hits the ground. So this is our hypotenuse. We can interchange A and B. I'm just going to put 12 in for A and square it, and 5 in for B and square it, and solve for C. Uh, 12 squared is 144, 25, or 5 squared is 25, and those add to 169. So 169 is equal to C squared. Let's take the square root of both sides. Square root of 169 is 13. So that means the wire is 13 whatever unit long. Well, if you go back to the word problem, all these units are in feet. So that means the wire is 13 feet long. And there you go. There's a second word problem for you. I hope this was helpful.